E-commerce brands are completely destroying their chances of success with Google Ads by doing these few things which actually make or break their overall Google Ads campaigns. And in this video, I want to go over the three major things which have the ability of literally making or breaking your Google Ads campaigns. Now, I'm inside an ad account and we're going to go over the first one actually on the list, which is location targeting. Now, if we go on over to settings and it doesn't matter if it's a performance max campaign standard shopping search campaigns etc you need to be keeping track of this because this one thing if you don't do properly has the ability to completely wreck your campaign and if we now scroll down to the location settings from here you want to choose location options now you have two different options here and this campaign actually was set up in the wrong way if we look right here the first circle is chosen which says presence or interest people People in regularly in or who have shown interest in your targeted locations and this is extremely bad for your campaign because if for example I'm a resident of the United Kingdom but I often visit the USA for whatever reason Google's algorithm actually has the ability to be tracking my IP address and it's going to see that my computer when I'm on Google is regularly within the United States which also means if I'm in the market to buy whatever product this campaign sells well then there's a chance i might see this ad even though i'm in the uk currently and i do not live in the united states this is a very bad thing because again it's going to basically waste the budget of this campaign on those folks who do this regularly but also number two if we read the second line it says who have shown interest in your targeted location this is very vague wording which essentially means that maybe people who regularly look at products sold within the united states even though they live in other countries outside the USA well now these people have a chance of getting shown your ad and obviously that's not a good thing because they're if they're just interested in your location where you're targeting and they're not living there well again you cannot ship to them I can't tell you how many campaigns I audit on a regular basis under my Google Ads agency Euro marketing where they have this first circle chosen included this account which is something we just recently started working with but they have this first circle chosen and their performance max campaign it's never consistent it's up and down all the time this is one of the main reasons why you end up having so many fluctuations for example as can be seen here too where this campaign was started a few weeks ago but still it has a lot of ups and downs and just overall inconsistent results where one day you might get a conversion value of 200 dollars the very next day it might be triple that of 800 700 dollars so on and so forth so this now brings us to the second thing which makes or breaks your google ads campaigns especially performance max or smart bidding based campaigns and it is this right here automatically created assets now this is something that's also chosen for this campaign this is something we will be fixing very shortly for this brand which we just started working with recently but basically choosing both of these boxes or even one of these boxes now the way automatically created assets works is essentially this gives google the power to create your assets for you when i say assets i'm referring to these images logos descriptions headlines so on and so forth that appear within this asset group section of any performance max this is the worst thing you can do for your pmax campaign because again this is taking a lot of the control you have and it's giving this control to the algorithm i don't know about you but i personally think that i personally know best about my own e-commerce brand i know which assets work versus which assets uh -huh. don't work the best compared to some random robot or some random algorithm and that's exactly why you don't want to be giving google too much control with this setting right here in fact it also tells you here you can allow google to help you generate assets for your ads using content from your landing page domain and ads and final url expansion uses the information on your website landing pages to identify additional relevant search queries both of these may improve ad relevance and performance you want to disregard this because this is just google's way of saying just trust us and enable these we will try to give you the best possible results in reality your results will be much much worse than they potentially could be if you had these two boxes unchecked and it's both of these not just one so text assets you don't want google deciding any types of headlines descriptions for you at all and finally you are all even this one you don't want to be letting google decide it for you because this essentially gives google the ability to decide 
which URL from your website it should be sending traffic to. This could mean your About Us page, your Contact Us page, if there's any sorts of references to any products you sell. So this is very dangerous. It can end up losing you a lot of money long term. But now this brings us to the third and most important thing of what can make or break your campaigns and it is this goal section right here now i'm going to take you to an ad account where this is completely messed up so if we look at this ad account right here which by the way in the last 30 days they have been very inconsistent and this is an e-commerce brand we just started working with yesterday under my google as agency or marketing this brand has been very inconsistent hence why they came to us now when i was looking through these campaigns i noticed one grave issue if we go to the settings section look at this goal section this is what i saw I saw a whole bunch of goals getting optimized for within this campaign, a total of five different goals. Now, if you have multiple goals, well, now the algorithm doesn't know anymore if it should be optimizing for somebody who adds to cart or somebody who begins checkout or somebody who does something else like a page view or maybe somebody who purchases. Because keep in mind, somebody who just views the page is much different in terms of their overall customer persona than somebody who just adds to cart versus somebody who purchases so these are different people these are different personas every single one of these goals is going after it so this is where majority of the problems arise for so many e-commerce brands this is one of the main reasons why this is struggling so essentially what you want to be doing is you want to be using campaign specific goal settings for every single one of your campaigns and you want it to be only purchases or one or the other whatever your conversion tracking code is which you optimize for you want it to be going after that only keep it one goal per campaign if it's add to cart let it be add to cart but ideally you want to be doing only purchases and this is just one of the other three that you should have but again for the best possible results and to make sure that your campaigns continue to perform well are consistent you need to ensure all three of these things i mentioned in this video are getting done because they can again break your campaigns completely but if you're doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your google ads account go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see if we can potentially work together and make that happen but be sure to like this video if you got any value from it subscribe if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos and check out this case study i did here recently on a brand which we applied these things and more to basically explode to the next level